Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. In this video we are going to learn how to set everything for the Linux or the Mac user and throughout my entire course I'll be using the same setup because of the one major reason that I want all of you and me onto the same platform. Now you can also go through with the Windows environment but really I would appreciate if you'll go through with the same setup that I'm having. Many times when I work on any particular platform like Windows or even Mac, the other platform users keep mailing me on my email ID that, hey Hitesh, what we are going to do for this, what we are going to do for that. So I really don't want this confusion in this series. So what I'll be doing in this entire series, I'll be working on the virtual machine and I have installed Backtrack on it. Now, why I have chosen this system? Because of some particular reasons. First of all, a Linux or Mac user can also work directly on their platform. If you are a Mac user, you can download the virtual box and Windows user can download the virtual player, which is a free version, or you can also download the virtual box. Linux user can also do the same. They can download the virtual box and can install the backtrack on it. If you are on Ubuntu, Red Hat or any other platform, you can go through with my same setup. Another important reason why I have chosen backtrack for it, you can, first of all, the Kali favorites, are. The lovers of Kali Linux can also go through with the Kali as well, but I would be going with the backtrack. There is no issue in that also. I was just having this downloaded on my system. That's why you can say I was a bit lazy one. Also, in order to download the backtrack, you can visit my website in the student section. You will find a link. Let me help you to download the backtrack. You can download your backtrack from here and you can search on the Google to download the virtual box as well. And you can easily find that. This installation of the backtrack is really a pretty simple one. If you are previously my student on some of my other courses, you pr probably know that how to install a backtrack on the virtual box or the virtual player. In case you haven't got there, just drop me email. I'll be, I'll be really happy to help you out. So first of all, let me get into the machine. Again, we have to collect those same materials, but the beauty about the backtrack that I like really is all the servers are pre-installed on it. You just have to start the things. So uh, let me quickly open up my terminal. And first of all, let me open up my browser because we are going to collect a couple of things from here. So go to the internet section, click on the Firefox web browser. I'll be just writing the same thing. I'll download it from my website, itishaudhry.com slash injection slash master dot zip. It will ask me where you want to uh, save the file. I want to save this file. Okay, where you want to save it. Uh, let me save it on the desktop so I can view it. Save it. It's a very, very small file and it will take just a moment and it's being downloaded. It's only 126 KB. That's the awesome part about it. Let me minimize my browser for a moment and let me make a couple of changes. I'm really sorry about it because I should have made those changes way back. But really for the sake of, you can say, visibility, I'm making these changes. Okay, I hope it's a bit more visible and let me zoom in into as well. I'll be working on this uh, command prompt. It's a bit more easier. So first of all, I'll travel to my, I hope now it's better. Uh, I'll first of all move on to my s slash root directory in that desktop. I'll check a ls and I know that my master.zip file is out here. Now I'll move this master.zip to my slash war slash www directory. Now let's travel to this slash war slash www directory and check out if the file is there. Yes, the file is there. And already I'm having a master uh, file out here. Also what you can do, you can go to your places you can go to your home folder and it's going to open up. Go to the file system. In that you are going to find war and you can go to this www directory. Now since a one more master file is out there, let me first delete it. I should have delete that. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, anyways, you first of all want to unzip the contents of the master.rar file. It's just take a couple of moments and here we have our master. Now let's travel to this master directory. Do a quick ls. 
Now here I have found a lots of files including the index file, SQL connection folder. Now for the Linux user especially I would like to mention one thing that first of all go to this SQL connection file you will find a db-credentials.inc file. Now this file is really important and you should visit it by using a vim or any other editor. So let me open that file for you and here you will find one thing that the db user is by set by set is a default. Windows user don't need to play with it much around but Linux user have to for the backtrack because the default password is actually two. So you have to mention it here. Okay, let's escape colon wq to save and quit my file. Now what I can do, I can simply go back by typing cd. Now I have to start my Apache as well as my SQL server. Since they are already installed in the backtrack, I don't need to do any other thing. So let's first of all start the service of Apache. I hope you know the command very well. Service Apache to starts, pretty simple one. And let me also start my SQL. Okay, so it's running and the process ID is also being given in case to verify. Okay, so everything is being set up. Now what you can do, you can launch a Firefox. Mine is already open, so I don't need to worry about it. Now I can type local host. It works, but I don't want only the Apache to work. I want to go in the master. If I'll click on this setup database, it is going to set up all the database for me. Yes, it is set up because in, if, in that case, if it doesn't work, don't forget that you haven't mentioned the tour in that file. Okay, everything is fine for me. Let me go to the lesson. If I go to ls-1, now it says no file or URL is being found. Again, in the last video, I mentioned that L is caps here. So that's the error we are making. And many case, in many case, like in this case, you are going to find an error. So don't do that. And here is our back annoying image. So this was all about the setting the environment on a virtual machine that is backtrack. And I'll be using this for the entire of my video series just to be for the having same synchronous in the users and my platform. So that's all for this video and let us try to take an SQL injection lesson one in the next video.